Yo guys, Kurt here. So last time, we completed some of the mask salesmen's uh, things. Masks, whatever. This time we're going up Zor's River. Well, that's not gonna end well. Hoo hoo, looks like you've gotten bigger and stronger already, Link. Just ahead lies Zor's Domain. The Zoras serve Hyrule's royal family by protecting this water source. Their door will not open for anyone except those who have some connection with the royal family. Let them hear the melody of the royal family. Hoo hoo hoot. Oh god. Eek. Well, it blew up. Did no damage to me, thankfully, but yeah. Let's go ahead and blow up those rock. Go ahead and blow up those rocks. There we go. Well, I got one. Get rid of all of them. Okay, anything awesome? Oh, I was hoping it would have uh, dropped some bombs. Come on. Whatever. Fine. Fine. Alright, drop another bomb. And... Alright. Before we do anything major, I'm going to talk to this guy. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They aren't selling very well. How about 10 rupees for one piece? Sure. So we got a magic bean for 10 rupees. Alright, cool. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? Well, they're not that popular yet. How about 20 rupees? Uh, what? Why did you add another 10 rupees? Aww. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They're getting to be quite popular. 30 rupees for one piece. How about it? Uh, another 10 rupees? What is this guy's problem? If you want to plant beans, go around and look for soft soil. Chomp, chomp, chomp. How about some magic beans? They're all the rage. 40 rupees for one piece. No. I actually meant to hit yes, but my thumb slipped. Let me, uh, talk to him again. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Chomp, chomp, chomp. We have the popular magic beans. You'll regret it if you don't buy them now. 50 rupees for one piece. Just for now. Yeah, as you can tell, he's gonna keep building up the price. And as it is, we can't buy anymore. But now that we've done that, let's go ahead and grab this cuckoo. Not this rock. This cuckoo. Pick up the rupee, just because I can. And we want to go across here. Now, the, you don't need this cuckoo, but you can get a couple of optional things if you bring him with you. Also, my game pad's really loud and in my ear. Okay, so, first thing you can see, right off the bat, there is a piece of heart up there. Well, we want that. So, we're going to head all the way around. And the way you want to do this is once you get close to the ledge, let go of the cuckoo. Uh, he will drop and be safe down there because we're not done with him. And with this piece of heart, we actually got another uh, heart container. Nice. All right, pick him back up and head up here. Now, don't let him touch the water. If he touches the water, he will fly away and we don't want that. So, yeah, you gotta be kind of quick about all this. Uh, pick him up again. So right here, throw him up. Get up yourself. Go pick him up. Pick him up. Link. Link. Oh, God. No, 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 no. And he's gone. Nope, Navi. I don't care. I didn't want to bomb. Ugh. Okay, I'm going back. I'm gonna go see if he's back there. Okay, now, once you get up here with him, just kind of walk like normal, nothing major. Also, there's a couple new enemies on this path. I didn't really give them any No, Right there, that is... Oh, I just dropped an Octorok. That's right. Um, now, let me uh, show you what to do with this chicken. Kaku, whatever. There is another piece of heart. Now, we don't need him so much. Um... Now, I want to go back because there's another enemy I didn't get to say anything about. Um, so, yeah, the Octoroks right here. They spit rocks at you. Uh, nothing really major. And down here, there was the Mutectites. 
I don't know why I just did all that, but yeah. Uh, blue tektites are the same as red, except for they can go on top of water. Reds cannot do such. Uh, other than that, they're pretty much the same, so I'm not gonna fight any. But I am gonna head back up. There's one more thing we can do, uh, before we actually head into the Zora's home. And that is a single gold school Tula on this path. So... Actually, now that I think about it, there's another one, I believe, right next to that guy who's selling the, uh, magic beans. I also need to show off the magic beans, um, what they can do. So, we're gonna head over here. Also, why is he back? The bird's back. That's weird. Alright. So, no. Thank you. Thank you. Drop the bugs right here. I hope this is actually one of them. I don't quite remember. Oh, I guess it's not. That's weird. Yeah, there, I, I guess that's not one. But if you go to this, you can actually plant a bean and it will give you a sprout. We can't do anything with this yet, but later on that will come in handy. Um, now if we, uh, head back, since it's nighttime, let me go to where the Gold School Tula is. Alright, the Gold School Tula is right down here. Go ahead and not get hit yourself. There we go. Attack him and he will drop his, uh, token. Now, let's go ahead and head on inside. Do to do. Also, we need the ocarina. Uh, oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. All right. No, uh, it, yeah. There we go. Now we have opened up the way to... That was a weird way to say to. Zora's Domain. Yep. Alright. Um, so first, let's just kind of roam around a bit and see what all we can do. Hello. No, I wanted to talk. There we go. Who are you? We are the Zoras, the proud aquatic people. So, you say you have some connection with Hyrule's royal family. Well, what do you want from us? Um, well, where's your leader? And I will discuss it with him. We are good at diving. How about you? If you want to be a master diver, try the diving game at the top of the waterfall. Have you tried it already? No, we have not. So that's a nice little tip. Can I talk to you without going in the water? No? Okay. All of the water in Hyrule flows from Zora's Fountain. That water flows through Zora's River, which eventually reaches Lake Hylia to the south. Okay. Cool. Nice little tidbit of information. Uh, well, they didn't in particular say anything that was helpful, so let's go see if there's anybody down here. Um... Uh, also, I'm Link, I break pots. <laughs> oh, excuse me, I can't stop burping all of a sudden. Ooh, blue rupee, okay, nice. George's Fountain is the source of the river. Lord Jabu Jabu lives in the fountain. Lord Jabu Jabu is the pat patron deity of the Zoras. Princess Rudo is in charge of preparing his meals morning and night. Okay, Princess Rudo. Um, uh, well, we're getting kind of nowhere with this. So let's head up and see if there's anything, you know, new. Okay, big hole here. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Who are you? A sign. King Zora's throne room. To hear the king's royal proclamation, stand on the platform and speak to him. Okay. Oh, my dear sweet Princess Rudo. Where has she gone? I'm so worried. Well... Doesn't sound like we're getting any information out of him at the moment. Hi, dive practice spot. Are you confident in your diving skill? I am. Let's go see if I can dive well, guys. 
Um, okay. Hello. Diving game. 20 rupees. Want to play? Sure. Okay. Pick up all the rupees I throw from here. You have only a limited amount of time. When you pick them all up, come back here. I'll give you something very nice. Okay, cool. So he's gonna throw some rupees in the water. Um, and we gotta go get them. Start! So we have 50 seconds to grab five of these blue rupees. Uh, nothing too major. Uh, but whenever you dive down, make sure you, uh, you know, come up, or make sure you can, like, move around and such. Now, as you saw, I just did that in less than 20 seconds. Nothing major. Uh, he says he has something nice for us, too. So let's head back up. Um, I'll meet you back there since this is kind of a slow climb. Okay, let's see. What a graceful dive. Now, please take this. This is a skill of our kind. With this, you can dive much deeper under the water. Alright, and we got a silver scale, which allows us to dive uh, deeper than what we could before. I believe... Okay, so the first number is three. I think the next one is... Uh, five? Or something like that? Uh, I don't know. We're not using it quite yet. But there's one thing I want to do before we move on. Light all the torches here. Um, okay, so you get the little jingle for that, nothing really major, but come over here and light this one, that one all the way over there, this one in here, or these two in here, if I can aim, there we go. And we get a chest. Inside this chest... Hurry up before the Deku stick burns, jeez. Inside of this chest, we have... Another piece of heart. We've collected two pieces, two more, and we will uh, get another heart container. Now what we want to do from here is get down here. If I, I need to explain better. I'm not good at talking. I'm sorry. You need to dive through the hole. And this will take us to a new area. This is Lake Hylia. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to do while we're here. First off, we're going to head over here. I am Benuru, the Scarecrow Musical Genius. I hear a song once and I never forget it, baby. Pull out your ocarina. Whoa, you have an ocarina. Hey, why don't you play a tune for on me? Wait, why don't you lay a tune on me with the baby? So do you, uh... I'm gonna try to... Oh god, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I want. Hold on. There we go. Well, not bad. I'll remember for you anyway. I don't mean I can remember only eight notes, but let's just cut it right there for now, baby. All right, and if we come up here and play for this... My name is Pierre, the Wandering Scarecrow. Actually, I wish I could wander to look for soul-moving sounds, but I'm kind of stuck here. Not, not what I was... What? What? Wait. I'm so confused. Okay, well I think that's right. Or how you're supposed to do it. But, okay, the next thing we want to do is head over here. Um, this over here is something called the fishing minigame. So, what we want to do is head in there and try to catch the biggest fish. Now, this can take quite some time. So, you know. Yeah, but what? Well, do you want to go fishing for 20 rupees? Uh, yeah, we understand. Okay, here we go. So, pretty much the way fishing works, you just throw your uh, line with B, 
You sit there from. Oh, I see the fish we want too from here. Uh, you can reel it in with by pretty much touching anything. And whenever you catch a fish, you're gonna have to hold on to it. And it's gonna be like actual. Like most times in video games, you get the fishing thing where it's like, okay, you gotta pull back until they like jump out of the water. That's not the fish we want. That one's not near big enough. Oh no. But you can hold to the sides. They will uh, grab onto that way too. Uh, whenever you get them onto dry land, they. Oh my god, come on. Come on. There we go. That's not even big. Well, it's about three pounds. I do not want that. I want. I think I want this guy. I wasn't even close, was I? Okay, just, just just throw it all the way. Okay, no, you're not that big either. Where's, there should be a really big guy somewhere around here. Uh, well, let's just see how big this one is. Okay, he's right there, too. I can see him. Dang it. Okay, well, it's about three pounds. We'll keep that one, I suppose. That's the one I think we want there. It's always in the deep water. I didn't get his attention. Dang it. Okay. Okay, I thought that guy was actually about to go for it. I was like, what? Okay, throw it about right here. Hopefully this will get his attention. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. No! Ah, fine. I guess I'll get this one. Or he can let go. Okay, whatever. And that probably spooked the big one, and he's now in a different location because of it. That always happens. I hate it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Come on. Yes! Cool. Here we go. Here we go. This guy looks pretty big. Okay. He's really fighting me, too. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Link. We got this. Here we go. Dang, that's a big guy. Well, well, it's about six pounds. That's not the right one, is it? Um, I can't remember. Because you get prizes based off their weight. And there's one really big one. That's one we're going for. I may have to cut till we get it. Even though this video is already going a little long. Uh, wait, wait, my fish. Wait, my fish. Ah, uh, yeah, I was right. We only got a freaking blue for that. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna cut, or either speed it up, or... Okay, I think that's the one we want that's hiding right there. I will be back in a moment. Alright, this is the big guy. Holy crap, that took me like 10 minutes to do. 10 freaking pounds. Yes, I want to keep that. Oh my god, that took forever. Ah. Oh. Jeez. Jeez freaking ways. Here we go. Okay. Let's go talk to this guy. Can't believe how long that took. Oh my god. <laughs> Weigh my fish. Um, And we get another piece of heart. Nice. Wow, we are actually like right next to being at another life. Or another heart. Another life. Ugh. Oh, man, that took forever. All right, well, with the next one, we will, or in the next video, we will move on with uh, what we need to do in this part of the game. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.